All right, hello all. Uh, this is going to be on uh, VirtualBox, uh, the latest version, uh, version 5 dot whatever. <laughs> I haven't installed it yet, so I'm going to install it through the terminal. Uh, this is inside Arch Linux, of course, on the XFCE4 desktop, the one and only. So I'll just do uh, Pac-Man, sudo Pac-Man dash capital S, my alias is Pac for that, so uh, virtual. I imagine you know this anyway, but version 5.0-4-2 and VirtualBox is the very end is dash one, I wonder. Anyway, so uh, just let that download and install. Okay, and depending on uh, what you want, uh, you can get the VirtualBox guest ISO in case you're gonna run on something like Windows. So again, sudo pacman dash capital S, control shift V to paste that in. And it's large enough. <laughs> and another thing I wanted to mention uh, quickly is make sure you install the QT4 package if, if it's not there, if it's not installed. Or else, uh, for me anyway, uh, VirtualBox doesn't run. And again, if you're running, well, actually, it doesn't matter what OS you're going to run, it's uh, through uh, Yaoart, or you can download the package through uh, the Arch Linux user repository online. Uh, it's VirtualBox uh, extensions. I can't remember the very last part. VirtualBox extension or EXT Oracle. Well, that wasn't hard. Okay, so this one is involving uh, a bit of compiling and edit, edit the package, yes or no, edit the install, and then continue building. So before uh, starting VirtualBox, uh, just uh, I, I find it easier just to go to Super User and we'll just do a DEP mod zoom in uh, dash a if nothing comes back uh, dependency modules everything should be fine and then I just do a mod probe vbox drv and it's found it and uh, simply just echo v vbox drv Sorry, I zoomed in here. I'm losing my uh, focus. Vbox DRV out to make sure you put that Etsy modules load.d to virtual box dot c o n f. Enter. Arrow key up one if you wish and uh, just type in C A T and it'll just come back with that so that when it, uh, you restart your machine uh, the virtual box driver is loaded loaded at startup so uh, we'll add yourself add yourself to uh, the vbox users group so just that g group password b a s s w d dash a for add your user vbox and we press tab it should pick that up so you press enter and you've been added to the VirtualBox users group. So you can just, uh, what's going on here? Fire up uh, VirtualBox. Okay, let's look for Oracle. There he is. Okay, so I love this splash screen. There you go. Look how happy we are to run a VirtualBox. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> uh, press escape. Um, you go to preferences. It's a little different in the 5 version. General input, uh, you know, some keyboard shortcuts for you, language, display. Uh, I think that displays um, how you want it to appear, but I think that it also affects the desktop, so I would leave that automatic. Network. Um, I'm going to just add the NAT network. That's what I usually have. And extensions, you can see the extensions are already loaded. That's for like a USB you know you plug in a USB drive or a keyboard or a webcam proxy you don't really need and under preferences if you want if you want to change this to another drive you can just type in a path here and same with this but I'm just going to leave this as it is so um, click new and oh one more thing no nope, yeah click new and I'm going to install say Arch Linux just type Arch and it picks it up and it should pick up the architecture as well. Next, 
Um, finally, this has bumped up to 768. It was 512 for a long time, but I like to give it to overkill of 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, next, the hard drive space, I usually just leave it at 8, depending on what I'm going to install on Arch. So let's, uh, I will just press tab and delete and put 10. Press enter to create. And under settings, there's a new setting, um, new, it's placed in a different area, the uh, user interface. And you can actually remove any of these that you don't want. But I'm going to leave that default. However, I usually check show in full screen, the seamless mode. Uh, so you don't, it's a uh, right control after the switch between the two. So go back to general, um, share clipboard, drag and drop. I've never been able to get that to work for some reason. I've tried a lot of things. Uh, floppy, you don't, well, you might want a floppy for certain reasons, but in this case we don't. Now under processors, uh, usually you can get away with how many cores you have. So if you have two, you can put two here, four, four, and like I have a uh, six core, so you can uh, put six. If you have eight, put eight and, and up to 12. So there you go. Display, I really think this should be up above 128, especially with uh, things like plasma or maybe uh, GNOME shell. Um, maybe 256 would be nice. In Windows it does. If you install a Windows, it'll pick up if you enable 3D acceleration, but it only stays at 128 in this case, but that's trivial. Storage, or VDI, and that's where the, it'll, where you're told it to store the machines in the file settings. Uh, you can set it to solid state drive if you have one. And then here, always choose a, a virtual device. So I, um, I'll have to plug in my, uh, actually hold on, file system, nope. Here it is. So wherever you have one, and just open. Audio, um, hopefully this won't kill my audio when I'm recording. If I leave it at Pulse Audio. And network, it's already uh, there. Serial ports, USB. Uh, check this, because I always uh, sometimes make a mistake, and I only have USB uh, devices. I do have USB 3, but um, USB 2.0. And user interface, share folders, I uh, can look at that maybe later. So you press OK. And uh, let's look at the first time out of the box experience. You press Start. Now you see here, I see this lot. I don't know if it's just, just a, a mistake or just not paying attention. But this will close it, right? It's kind of deceptive. That closes it, but every time you restart, uh, start another virtual machine or, or whatever this will always pop up so this one here don't show this message again that's the one you choose okay okay the next uh, out of box one is when you hit the uh, actual inside is that one so don't show me that again and there's still another message up here I can zoom in uh, again don't display this message Okay, Okay. so once you've uh, installed whatever you're using, um, in this case in the, it's Arch Linux, just simply uh, type in the command power off, and that'll just close the, the virtual machine. And go down to, um, if you don't want the CD, CD or the live disk or whatever always starting, you just go down to the storage secondary, and you see optical drive, just click that and click remove. Another thing I find really handy, especially with uh, trying out different configurations inside uh, an OS such as Arts Linux, is uh, going to Snapshots, and this is just a new install without a desktop environment. So I create a snapshot. You can call anything you want, but I'll just leave it as default. So when you install something and it doesn't go right or whatever, you can always resort back to restoring that, and it'll uh, make another another restore point and you can see it's uh, incrementing in five seconds ago and 30 and so on and finally a lot one last thing I want to get to is uh, if you want to use uh, shared folders uh, you go down to that in your settings shared folders machine folders click the add 
and give it a name such as v VBox Share and Auto Mount. Um, and you can also set it as read only. And for some reason, oh, wait a minute. Let's go to add a new folder. Sorry. And make sure auto mount. Now you can press OK. Okay, so I always uh, have this for reference because I completely forget <laughs> the, all these commands in here or uh, switches or whatever. Uh, so I just copy that uh, from my main system. And that's where the share clipboard comes in. And I just paste that in. I should add. Um, a shared folder and we'll just call it the same vbox share and we'll go back to the documentation and this one here the pseudo mount dash t vbox etc and notice they're both the same name so I'll just copy that and paste that in hopefully uh, this works sometimes it doesn't okay so Let's take, is there anything in here? No, there isn't. So let's make a new empty file and copy it into here. So it's there. So if I go to my main uh, home folder on my system, you can see that the uh, same files there. So uh, what's the date today? September what? September 30th. Wow. So. Uh, three zero twenty fifteen. Oops, <laughs> that's a strange number. So, uh, save and quit. And let's look at this. And there you go. Inside the virtual box, it has the date. Okay. Now I'm not sure because uh, things change so much, especially in Arch Linux. Is uh, rebooting sometimes it doesn't, so you have to run this command. So that's why I have this uh, up for reference. Okay. So that should do it for uh, VirtualBox version 5, and I hope you enjoyed watching this, and thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.